Okay, this is uh, part two of my review critique of uh, The Price of Pleasure, a documentary by Sun Ching, Miguel Picker, and Robert Wosnitzer. Uh, so um, I had covered in part one, um, just really, I'm going to kind of briefly repeat it here just because it's, it's important, this idea that um, the... First of all, the documentary itself is very, very biased. It presents only one viewpoint. It doesn't necessarily accurately reflect all that can be said about the subject because it doesn't show the pro side of, of it at all. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, it doesn't claim to be fair and, and unbi un fair and unbiased at all. There's no, there's no, it, it doesn't say that it is that, so it is what it is. Um, but that fact should be recognized and acknowledged by those who um, promote the video, uh, that it is indeed that. And, rec it, and therefore, being that, it should just be a, you know, here's a, here, this video is a great opinion on the matter. Um, I personally can't see how the movie could change anybody's mind about anything. I don't, I almost think it exists as and I don't want to be I don't want to be dismissive towards anybody but I think it serves to confirm what you already know to be true it doesn't it's I, I cannot believe that anybody even uh, vaguely pro porn even if they don't really have a strong political opinion on it or opinion on it can say wait a second that doesn't make sense you know it's pretty full of flaws unless you already believe it to be true and okay and I, that's I want to I should probably clarify that before I get myself in trouble um, but okay one, one here's one aspect and this has been pointed out on other other anti-pornography concepts or other arguments and this is one that I think was the most glaring for me um, just you know one I noticed immediately is that the film is utterly devoid of gay pornography it's not mentioned it's not discussed there's no producers of it uh, they 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 do lots and lots of clips from from a um, big uh, big pornography convention um, gay porns represented at those things I've been I've been to them before there there's there's gay pornography you know gay pornography actually accounts for a large a, a significant percentage of the pornography produced why isn't it mentioned at all does it exist um, based on this film you would be led to believe that it doesn't exist so, and uh, anyway I find it um, it's probably it's it, I say it's it's one of the one of the shocking things about this that it's not mentioned it doesn't because the the title of the film is the price of pleasure and it introduces itself, it introduces its topic as the truth about pornography. It doesn't say the truth about hetero, male produced, and starred pornography. It doesn't, it's not the truth about pornography directed against women. It's the truth about pornography. It's the, it's, you know. Um, and I would say, if I was a gay male or a, a gay woman, I would be pretty offended just by the lack of inclusion. By stating, "So we don't matter in your movie. We don't. Are we don't matter in your opinion because it's not brought up." Um, it'd be one thing if they had clarified that specifically. Then you'd say, "Okay, well, this isn't about us." But it doesn't clarify. It uses these terms, all and most and and general and mainstream and whatever it include to, to 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 use these things but by leaving that out that 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 right there was is it's interesting um and i'm going to get into this more throughout the thing but one of what the the other side of that issue um about what the film does discuss is that i despite the claims otherwise i get the distinct impression that the documentary um hates its target uh, hates the very people that it's claiming I don't know but that's that's a side issue well and I'll get hope hopefully I'll make get, be able to explain that a little bit further so I I just was and 
along other things that this film does is that it lumps together a lot of a lot of things. It'll cut these like in one scene, it's talking about you know, it, it's talking about pornography, but then it jumps to it'll say the um, the sex trade or the uh, you know it'll, it'll use a few things like that. But like in one scene, it cuts to a sign of a, a adult toy store, and it's like you know they don't specifically attack adult toys in the film um, and I would guess that given the other things they've said that they wouldn't really want to attack sex toys in the film um, you know it's not the, you know but they show it. It, it it's it's sort of this like really soundbite shock value you know this glaring neon sign that says adult toys you know the things like that it and I understand they're, it's bi- okay. I already said it's biased. It admits it's biased, um, and and so forth. So, uh, sorry, there's a kitty uh, trying to get in on this. Um, anyway, so the <laughs> lost my train of thought here. Sorry, sorry about that. The uh, kitty needed some attention. So, anyhow, uh, the uh, the point is with this film is that it's. Again, to return to this this topic. Sorry, I'm, I'm still distracted. She's she's laying all over the keyboard here. Uh, the the film generalize. The, it has a lot of you know. The, it cuts to experts or insiders or whatever clips constantly throughout. And the the people speaking. A lot of them are, are you know uh, speakers on the topic of feminism and such, putting their two cents worth in. And um, you know, which is which is a welcome addition to any any documentary and they but there there's a lot of it's peppered throughout with these g- huge generalizations uh about the consumers of pornography the producers of pornography the um the industry the everything about it and that part it gets really tiresome um, because it doesn't take more than a few seconds of you know looking up some facts to, to question um, Ernest Green because he knows a lot more about it than I do. Please check his blog out. I'll put, again put the links in the sidebar to to his excellent criticism of it. But he goes after their numbers, um, which I think um, you know they're citing these you know fourteen billion dollars, and he you know, he he goes after that, going really where does this come from? And the largest producers are, and he goes into this. Um, but one thing he doesn't point out, and I'm going to so it's, I'm trying to limit my 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 arguments to those things. Um, it's just kind of jumping topic completely from the last one, but I just can't. I just thought of it. Is I was, um, w- obviously being a biased film. It, it names some of the. It names major corporations. It it tries to establish that pornography is evil because it's big giant white male owned corporate you know whatever it it's it's it pushes that agenda and that's that's a fine agenda to push i can't say i'm entirely in disagreement um with against necessarily all of that but and it names these big you know cnn and um time warner it, other big companies that are connected to the evil pornographers that have subsidiaries that are producing porn and pushing this pornography and how much you know collectively they've made a billion dollars off of this and it you know it throws out these these shockingly big numbers um but i when i watched it what i thought was where's rupert murdoch uh since even though you know it's through through i guess we call it subsidiary other companies but um Rupert Murdoch owns the largest absolute. In fact, he uh, if effectively he has a monopoly on that uh, pay-per-view porn, like in hotel rooms, completely lock, stock, and barrel, um, owned by Rupert Murdoch. Or you know, um, he makes hundreds of millions of dollars off of the porn. Even the, and I thought, how come he was not mentioned in this? He's one of the worst of them all in in in, in their definition of worst. Why isn't he mentioned? Um, and that's a really, really good question. Why? Why? Why isn't Murdoch mentioned? Why isn't? And I can't, you know. And I don't want to throw out any conspiracy theories here, but it's a little suspicious that they mention other people that are smaller, and they don't mention the big guy himself, um, who funds 
a lot of anti-pornography stuff. Isn't that interesting? Um, again, I don't know what that means. I'm just saying it's an interesting interesting that his, his name... I mean, I'd like to ask the filmmaker herself, why didn't they interview or talk about that? Or, or were they afraid of you know, actually going after somebody who would sue their asses off. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm going to end this now.